What is good, fam? Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and today we're going to get into the top 10 dopest, coolest vintage Levi's 517 bootcut jeans on eBay right now. So let's get into the list. If you're unfamiliar with the Levi's 517, it is perhaps the greatest of all boot cut jeans. And if you don't know what a boot cut jean is, it kind of speaks for itself. It's a jean that is designed to fit over the boot, which gives it a flared look from the knee to the ankle. And if you remember when flares were popular, it was the 70s, it was the late 90s, early 2000s. And it seems like the 517 or the boot cut jean is back and it's becoming more and more popular. I can't hardly keep good versions of it on my racks. So we're gonna get into the list of what you can find on eBay right now. Now again, remember this is a completely subjective list. It's my own opinion. It's what I found after searching through hundreds and hundreds of listings. And you can find all the links to each one of these below. Now coming in at number 10 is a pair of 517s from the late 90s. It's not too exciting, it's not too crazy. It's just got a good amount of wear, a little bit of soiling to give it a little bit of an edge. Um, it's just right for those who are trying to dip their toes into the boot cut jean world. Uh, so this one is the top 10. Now coming in at number nine, we have a dark wash version, which appears to be from the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, it is an orange tab version as well, and it has some exceptional thigh wash and some pretty good looking whiskers. Whiskers are the uh, sort of lines that sort of emanate from the crotch area where the folds of the denim make uh, uneven wear on the wash or the denim or the indigo. And so you also get that awesome thigh wash from just being used or being rubbed or whatever it may be. And this creates a beautiful version of the 517. Now at number eight, we have another orange tab uh, 517 it's going to be a recurring theme just you know prepare yourself uh, but this is a particular pair from the late 70s early 80s I believe is what I can as far as I can tell and it's a, a little bit of a different fabric um, it's definitely denim it's definitely still cotton um, but it was under the orange tab line which used uh, less dense or less thick uh, weighted uh, the denim so you get a different sort of feel and look as it fell along your legs and this one is a perfect example of that uh, so much hippie vibe on this particular jean uh, it's so dope now at number seven is another 70s pair but this is the red tab version it's definitely got a heavier uh, denim material and this one's really interesting because I think the the measurements are 28 by like 34 uh, 28 is good for a women's size, though I don't necessarily know these were particularly designed for women, but that is a much better women's size than most of these you're going to see. Um, and, but except that it's extremely, extremely long, which does mean that the flares at the end are quite wide. Uh, but this is almost a dead stock pair. I think it's super cool. Um, it is from the late 80s, or excuse me, the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, so a pretty cool uh, piece of history here. Now at number six, we have another well-washed version of the 517. It's got great whiskers. It's got great texture all across the jean, just enough distressing to make it look edgy. And uh, this one, I believe, is from uh, the early 80s, about 83, I believe. And you'll notice on the older versions of the 517, they tend to be quite a bit more slim through the thigh into the knee than the later counterparts. Uh, the later counterparts are quite a bit more relaxed in the thigh, it appears from my experience. And the older ones definitely have a much more narrow thigh, which was the look of the day, so it makes sense. Now at number five, we have this exceptional pair from the late 80s, early 90s. I think this pair is perhaps the best wash that we've seen. It's got such cool wear. You can see that uh, from the knee to the ankle is like the original color and from the knee up, it is just so well worn, almost looks like a two-tone pair of jeans. That just gives your jeans such an interesting dimension and, and uh, characteristics 
that other jeans may not have. All right, if you're a seven foot man or woman, uh, this is the pair of jeans for you. It is a, an orange tab saddle men's boot cut. Uh, this is like a dead stock version, so it's got all the original promo and marketing materials attached to it. Um, so this thing is like pristine. Uh, it is a 36 inch inseam, which seems pretty crazy, which it's even crazier when you consider that it's a, 30, a 29 inch uh, waist. So clearly someone fairly skinny and fairly tall. Uh, I don't know I don't necessarily know that I know somebody who could actually fit this but it is still a pretty cool pair of jeans nonetheless now at number three this is the most expensive pair I believe on the list you can check the listing in the link uh, in the description below but I believe it is at like nearly a thousand dollars it's got some incredible distressing across the thigh and this is a big E pair of 517s which is actually fairly rare to come by since they didn't produce them for very long. Uh, so obviously the rarity of this makes the value go way, way up. And otherwise it is still a, an incredible looking pair of jeans that would, you know, make anyone look better, I'd imagine. Now here is a very, very rare pair of 517s and it's not denim at all. It is the stay press material, which is like a polyester material that Levi's came out with. And you have this multicolor striped all over. Uh, this pair of jeans, again, super rare, but super hippie. Uh, these are hard to come by. Uh, I've seen, never in my own personal life, seen Levi's like this in the wild. Uh, I have seen other, like, Maverick and Wranglers that have been very, very similar from the same time period. But this is pretty rare. I believe this listing actually is from Japan. And one of the reasons it's so rare is that the Japanese bought up a ton of Levi's in the 80s and 90s. And so it is hard to find some of these more unusual pairs in America, but this one definitely needs to be at number two, super cool. Now, before we get to number one, if you would be so kind as to like the video, uh, comment below which one of these 10 is your favorite. Do you prefer the more distressed versions or the more washed versions or the more dead stock looking versions? Let us know. And if you like content like this, subscribe for more. Now at number one, we have what ends up being my absolute favorite pair of 517s that I found on eBay at the moment. And it's this pair of mid 80s, 517s and they look incredible the distressing the patchwork um, i love when you find patched up jeans especially that are much older because a lot of times those patches were actually like i need to patch up my jeans because i'm not going to be able to just go buy another pair at any moment uh, so i love when they're patched up they look dope um, this is probably pretty legit like real wear not necessarily something you just went to h m and bought some you know tattered up jeans that were tattered by the factory or the factory workers or by a robot this is real life so this is definitely my favorite pair this is the best pair in my opinion on ebay right now it may not necessarily be the rarest pair but it's definitely the dopest pair so uh if you're interested go pick it up it's in the link below whatever you want to do but that's sick anyway guys thank you so much for watching that was our top 10 please remember to like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one peace